<laughs> Let's go. So, some interesting developments in the Vic Mignogna case have actually happened. So, so this uh, this video that I'm going to be playing for you guys that actually comes from Super Gorilla. Little shout out to you there, um, and stuff like that. So, let's go on ahead and. You guys will, <laughs> oh my gosh, let's just say you guys are going to be laughing like crazy once this is over. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and uh, play this right here. This is the investigation into Vic. And there are, there are a couple stories from that investigation. Uh, there are three, three stories from that investigation. I don't know what all is going to be included anywhere, but I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you one because I'm not going to, uh, and I'm going to be very, very loose on the other. What is not in these two stories is anything like sexual harassment, or sexual assault. Nothing even close. Here's the vague one that I can tell. The vague one is that after basically courting a coworker for uh, something like, you know, a year to two years, quite a quite a while, um, by text message and by other conversations, uh, Vic had a consensual kiss with a coworker, and. That's the end of the story. How, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. There's not much more to say, but it was a consensual kiss with a coworker. So is that sexual harassment or assault? Obviously not. However, it's part of this investigation. Why in God's name it's part of this investigation? We may never know. The, uh, the third story. And this is my favorite story of the investigation. Now, remember, remember, this is a human resources style investigation. This is to determine, you know, uh, improprieties in the workplace, meriting termination and, you know, and, and anything else that may come with it. This is the investigation um, that, uh, that, that they keep talking about that uh, Funimation has cited, apparently, in their tweet, this is it, okay? So remember that. Remember that. Here's the third incident. Vic's at a convention with one of his fellow voice actresses. We'll call her Monica Rial. <laughs> just, just for happenstance. They're at uh, tables near each other, right? They're, they're public signing tables. So this is, not, this is not a story that you heard about in an io9 article or an Anime News Network article or Polygon or anything like that. This is not that story at all. Uh, that's, a different, that's a different thing. This is from the investigation. So this one, though, is not that story. So they're, they're sitting at their tables interacting with, with fans. They have... They have, you know, Vic has a long line of people. Monica has a shorter line of people. And they're, they're talking back and forth. And uh, Monica has a bag of jelly beans. I believe is how this story goes. If it wasn't a bag of jelly beans, if it was a bowl of jelly beans, well then, I'm sorry. Or if uh, someone else had the bag of jelly beans, I'm sorry. I believe it was at her table. But either way, she had access this is, this is how we define possession legally anyway. Does she have access to, to a set of jelly beans? Yes, she does. She does. Either Vic asks her if he could have a jelly bean or she offers him a jelly bean. I'm not sure of the order of this event. But either way, there is a, a request for a jelly bean and an acknowledgement of a desire to have a jelly bean. We would call that consent, okay? <laughs> so Monica 
picks up the jelly bean and she takes her pen and she signs it. She autographs the jelly bean, right? Funny gag. You want a jelly bean? Well, here, I'll autograph it because I'm, I'm an important voice actor and this is a funny joke. The crowd loves it. Throws, throws the uh, jelly bean to Vic. Vic catches the jelly bean. Now he's got a, he's got a jelly bean that's signed, right? Signed in, and I, I assume like a little permanent marker, maybe a fine point permanent marker or something. But he's got a signed jelly bean of Monica Rial. Pops it in his mouth and eats it. He pops this jelly bean that's signed into his mouth. And he says something along the lines of, now I can say I ate Monica Rial, right? Because her name's on the jelly bean and he ate it. And that's the jelly bean story. Mind you, this is, <laughs> this is a human resources investigation that apparently, according to Funimation, factored into the termination of employment of Vic. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I don't know how to explain this. I, I can't... I can't... <laughs> like... <laughs> this is it. And again, I can't tell you the third story. What I can tell you is that the third story did not happen on Funimation property or at a Funimation sanctioned event or sponsored event and did not involve another Funimation employee. Very importantly, that other story, the other one has even less, even less to do with sexual assault or sexual harassment than the two stories I just told you. We know Monica is involved in this, right? Monica's 99% getting papers in the first round here. So in the next day or two, Monica is getting sued. So yeah, the entire... So just, so this is from uh, Jordan Eshelman. <clears throat> so, according to, so according to act Nick Rikita, who has been reliable, hashtag Monica Riel told a completely different story to Funimation, and it's not her... Tw and it's not her Twitter slash io9 story. This story was that she autographed a jelly bean, gave it to Vic Mignogna, he ate it, and said, now I can say I ate Monica Rial. Guess that's another one for hashtag the lies of Rial. And you want to know so something else? I specifically remember Monica telling the story. Either way, the point is, Monica Rial told, told different stories in different places. And remember, the truth never changes, but apparently it does if you're Monica. <laughs> Hashtag Charlotte Rial. So, yeah, essentially, the entire investigation that Funimation said was inconclusive is nonsense. It's completely and utterly false. In terms of, I'm not saying that them having the investigation was false. What I'm saying is the investigation itself was false because here's the thing. You can't fire someone just, just based on what they said. Especially when I'm pretty sure Vic meant this as a joke. You know? I mean, you can't really say something like that. You, you can't really fire someone for saying something like that. But hey, what do I know? I mean, I'm I'm just a guy in it. I'm just a guy in his early twenties who apparently doesn't know anything, according to the Kick Vic crowd. But anyway, yeah. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I've got a little bit of an update for you reg regarding the webcam situation. I'm going to be investing in a new one soon. Um, in a new one soon. It, I'm I'm gonna try to upgrade from my previous one too. But I'm I'm not really sure. You know what? I know my old one was a my old one was a uh, was a Logitech, but I don't exactly you know I don't know what the next best thing is on that, and even then I have kind of a limited budget right now, so I don't 
right now, so I don't really, you know, I don't really know what the best one is, especially for my computer setup. But yeah, if you guys if you guys like this content, feel free to donate to my PayPal. The link's gonna the link's gonna be in the description. It's not only gonna help me uh, keep the lights on here, but it's also gonna but it's also gonna help me upgrade my equipment and stuff like that for any future webcam based productions. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on up to the end on this entire situation. Go on ahead and check out the other creators as well. They're gonna be linked below as well. And yeah, hope you all have a lovely day and uh, God bless.